What's going on guys? It is your boy Crypto McCall here coming today with a mining update video. We are going back over the RX580 rig that we have in the DCA miner case that we put together on the last video during the whole project shebang that we had going down. So today we are going to kind of go over that rig uh, in particular and just kind of explore the ideas behind uh, what it will be like to mine on this rig and the thoughts and opinions um, I have on this right so let's dig a little bit further into this shall we but first don't forget to head over to All right, guys, so we are here with the RX 580 rig running the DC miner test. Now, this is mining Ethereum, as you can see here, and none of these cards are BIOS modded. I'm actually kind of curious about this because we always BIOS modded our cards um, for an Ethereum BIOS mod, right? So now that, you know, we have, you know, less than a week to mine Ethereum, right? Uh, well, according to this, we have until the 15th of September would kind of be curious to know what it's going to be like for non BIOS modded cards after the Ethereum merge, right? Cause you may not be mining something that's so memory intensive anymore. So would BIOS modding your, um, timing straps really even be worth it, right? Cause, uh, if you're not really utilizing your memory, what's, there's no real reason in my opinion to over overclock that section for more performance for a little bit more watts when it's not needed so i am going to be kind of curious of how this rig will play out after of course this is not mine but um a good buddy of mine's let me test it out and uh, get to play on it later on after uh, it gets to its new home so Alrighty, as you can see, we are mining Ethereum and it's not doing too bad, right? It's getting 190 mega ashes according to what to mine. If it was mining Ethereum, it should be 244 mega ashes, but it, it's not because they're not BIOS modded. Now, I don't really care about that part, right? Because we're going to leave them unbios modded and not every algorithm is going to really require that so we're going to bump this stuff down to eight cents where we set at right now all right now of course as we know ethereum is going to be the most profitable right of course now next up is going to be raven coin now i do like to see the raven coin is you know high up on the list for these cards um do i think or would I mine it with these cards? I, I don't I don't think so. Uh, more wear and tear on the cards and I, extra heat. I don't know that it would ne be necessary. But for higher profits, yes. Something that I would mine with them would be like Ethereum Classic, you know, Beam, um, Ergo. Because it is it would actually lower the wattage a little bit more, I think, and still be pretty efficient. And then as well as... Oh, where are you at? Good old Conceal, which is a Kryptonite GPU algorithm. Now, it says you're not going to make very much, but I've always had better luck than with what, what to mine has said with Conceal. And we'll even give it a try on Flux. All right, so we'll give all of these a try and just kind of see 
what is the most profitable and what uh, hash rates are, right? So, we'll just give it a little bit of test and see what's going on. Now, before we switch our flight sheet over, I do want to keep in mind is that we are pulling about 603 watts according to Hive. Now, we know as of the last video um, that you've seen that that's like 484 watts off according to what Hive says. So keep that in mind that we are about 400 and probably about 480 watts off due to everything else that's on the motherboard. Uh, all four server fans and the board itself, a CPU. Yeah. So keep that in mind. According to the meter, of course. Meter don't lie. Let's give a try out on Flux. We know how it'll hash on Ethereum Classic, right? It's kind of obvious, but let's give out. Let's try. Let's try Flux out and see what happens. All right, so we are back up and hashing on Flux now. I'm leaving my same clocks, um, only because my clocks that I actually would use for this only varies really by adjusting. Uh, what is it right here? The the DPM, uh, the core state, right? So usually I would run it around four. Um, I have it set to one for low power, right? So I could could increase it to give it more, and then uh, as well I would remove core voltage. But curious to see how it's gonna just kind of go for here. All right, so core temp. I think we're doing doing all right. 14, 14, 14, 13, 15, 15, 14, 13. Total of 116 souls. Now, according to what to mine, a single one of these should get about 14 souls at 110 watts. So right now we are easily beating that. Yeah, we're getting about a variable between 14 and 13 uh, souls on each one of these cards, but we are doing it at a little less uh, watts, around 80 to 77 watts. So overall, not that bad. All right, so went ahead and updated my, uh, what's in mind, just kind of changed some of the hash rates around, just to kind of get an idea of what we're working with, right? Now, do keep in mind that with the Flux one, because if you're mining Flux right now, you will actually get, um, you're start getting Ergo distributions uh, this month, actually. So the distributions will be on the 12th. So if you're seeing this after the 12th, you're already getting these distributions. So if you're mining Flux right now, you will start accumulating, you will be or have been accumulating these. So you'll start getting paid out uh, your Flux Ergo um, after the 12th. So that will boost your earnings over here on on this. I don't know what what to mine has it set at currently. Uh, your bonus is 50%. So if I'm not mistaken, I think it's like 8%. Okay, I like how it says bonus. Estimated rewards, you get about 1.67 flux, but you gain 0.5, right? So if we do that to 58%, let's change it. Not bad. Okay, so what I'm saying that should be right then. That. So that would be your flux. So you would get your bonus. So you get a little bit more once uh, after the twelfth, right? Let's go see how this rig compares on to something like uh, conceal, for instance. All right. So as you can see, it is up and running. What I do find funny is if you do use SRB miner. Um, it will actually grab your CPU cores. As you can see, two cores, 
uh, two threads were detected from the server cases CPU. So I need to turn that off actually, uh, cause it's slowing down the miner like considerably. Um, but getting a decent amount of hash rate there, like for that, right? So I get about 874, um, souls yeah no ashes yeah ashes so we should only be getting about 760 right but we are getting way more than that all right for about of course 90 about 100 watt 99 to 100 watts as it said but we're getting about 7.009 kilo hashes and the cpus are pulling about three uh, hashes a piece, which is pretty funny. So change that to a seven. And zero, zero, nine. Oops. That can't get that out so far. Does bring it up in the pack, that's for sure. Our earnings for Flux would I are higher, right? Earnings for Ethereum are a little bit lower, of course, because we edited the numbers. I'm gonna pop this one over to a different algorithm before the uh, CPU decides to freeze up. Because I don't definitely is not a fan of this. But I mean it's doing pretty well. Rather rather impressed to be honest so let's switch this on over to let's give old beam a try right no let's, let's try ergo ergo is what we need to test I mean, I'm not gonna lie, for these Polaris cards, my overclocks that I usually keep for these, um, like looking back on things and even just kind of glancing over to like the what the presets that I've OS kind of sets, or not sets that like they suggest, pretty spot on to what I've already like been running and what I'm what I what I do run on RX 580s. So for Having to like mess around with cards like the not really having a much of a much of a fuss here. I just leave my clocks the same as they have been this whole time. Um, I'm getting better hash rates on some, as you've seen on some of these algorithms, and I am not BIOS modded these cards, and I have not BIOS modded these cards. So um, I'm gonna take that for what you will. Maybe BIOS modding would be better, but I know that Flux is not really super memory intensive right so neither really is a conceal it's a kryptonite heavy algorithm it's kryptonite gpu so it runs pretty heavy on cores so it is built the data set for ergo and we are mining the two miners and we it looks like we're putting down an average speed of around 47, yeah, 46 to 47 mega hashes per RX 580 here. So, 377. Way different. Oh, it's just because it's not like fine tuned or not yet. To be honest, this is the first time I've ever mined Ergo. So. I do not know what to expect. If you have RX 580s and you do mine Ergo, please drop that down in the comment section below and give me like a tip or a trick. Would greatly appreciate it. Or. If you 
BIOS mod your RX 580s? I would love to know that as well in the down in, in the comment section. But overall, not a bad option for the fact that they do run around 68 watts per card. It's really not bad. 542 watts plus like 480 watts, right? Because uh, the difference. Now I'm curious to know if this difference is actually different from here to the power meter, but it's like 11 o'clock at night. It's spooky outside. Just kidding. Yep, so they're saying about 47 mega ashes per card. Not bad. So, from what I was looking at, it is because my DPM, my core state, is set down so low. Right, so as you see from one to seven, five default is five. The lower the value is to uh, down, down bolt. So let's let's strike her on up to three, and we'll see what we can get here because we are still pulling less watts. And um, from what I was just kind of peeking at, is uh, they could pull like a hundred watts, and that's how they're getting. They can get about fifty nine ish. Um, mega hashes per card, so that's pretty. Um, that that's way better, right? So we'll see how that runs out real fast before we switch over to um, a different coin, and probably gonna shoot with uh, beam, and that'll be gonna be the last coin that I'll test here on this because it is getting a little bit longer for that video, and then before I release this uh, cool machine back to my to a good buddy of mine I am going to do um, an interesting test spec mine of ETH W on some test nets so stay tuned for that coming up here shortly as well and be sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification see time that we go live here on the channel we'd greatly appreciate it you're all absolutely amazing now we increased uh, core core state up now we'll see if that does boost our hash rate back up. We shall see. Yep, so turning my core uh, DPM down did not actually help. It actually negatively infected the hash rate and didn't really boost my watts up at all. Um, putting my uh, VDD back, or my um, VDD. Yeah, my VDD for core, core voltage, I put it back in 900, I think, was that, yeah, stock was 900, so. Put that back in 900, and it, they're fluctuating, but they're pulling a little bit more, but they are pulling more watts, so. Probably, I would assume that one's going to rely more on the BIOS mod to get the rest of the hash rate, unless... You all have something uh, that would tell me otherwise. So we are going to swap over to the very last coin. We're going to swap over to Beam real fast and kind of see how it goes out before we close out this video. And there you go. As you can see, we have been mining there. Uh, we've been mining Beam here for a second. Kind of been doing some testing on some other stuff, but we got it up and going. And there's about 111 souls. For that rig and you guys calculate that back out now you have four dollars and 52 cents uh 345 uh, it'll be two dollars and 38 cents now of course all of these numbers are going to change especially after the merge happens uh, because everyone's going to go to these because that's where everyone else is going to go so going to something like flux conceal um in my opinion, it would be could be a smarter way to go. Maybe even Ergo, right? Uh, possible. So we'll kind of see how that plays out coming out here soon. Now, of course, I will be showing 
some pretty interesting um, testnet proof of Ethereum proof of work mining. And yeah, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. A uh, little bit of just going over this rig and kind of testing out different coins, seeing how it reacts to it, making sure it all does fine. Um, and make sure everything does good. Now, I'm going to buy one of these cards, but I'm going to wait a minute to see how it kind of plays out. And then, of course, yeah, we'll test some stuff out. But before we get these back to my buddy, we will test some test net proof of work ethereum mining so catch on the flip side guys much love peace out hope you have a good one and uh, see you on the next one peace keep your hash rates up and your watts low guys remember let's stay savage